I pray, may you not miss Christmas in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, may you not miss Christmas in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you not miss Christmas in the name of Jesus. Amen. Haparata sakatala padala. Ebrata sakatala padala. Quickly. This is a season of total submission to Christ. God, everything about me at this time is for you. I don't want to celebrate. It's like Pastor said, as we are coming to church this morning, we saw some people. They are slaughtering foul. We pretend to to join us. But they don't believe, but because of the, the merriment and the, the celebration of it, so they claim they are not in prison. They are missing it. Amen. So I told Pastor, I said, those people are missing the Christmas. After you be celebrating very day, and the person, the purpose, the, the celebrant is not in the party. What you have just done, what you are doing now, by coming to the house of God first, you have risk. It's you that is doing Christmas. Exactly. Uh, uh-huh. Your Christmas is standing for merriment. Uh, Your Christmas is so, anywhere. Hallelujah. Your Christmas is taking you to the next level. That's great. You cannot be celebrating Christmas and you don't know the celebration. No, no. Jesus is the reason of hallelujah. the Christmas. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the purpose why we are saying Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. No, it. So you keep out, you are drinking, they say, what are you doing? I'm celebrating Christmas. I wish Christmas said to you. I don't know the person you are celebrating. You are a total stranger. You lost it. You have lost it all. I know it. No. Will you not lost it again? Amen. You see, when I say, when they say, come to the house of the Lord, the house of the Lord is where you have a spiritual intelligence. When you come to God's house, this is what you start to do. Total submission. This is it. If you have submitted yourself to Him, this is the time for you to submit more to Him again. Lord, I dedicate my life. Lord, there is a prophecy that is coming to my head. Pastor prophesied. Lord, I have no power of my own. God, I have no power of my own. Let it be according to your will. Let it be. Mary, the virgin, would have missed Christmas. Yeah. Hello. Hallelujah. I believe you are getting my message now. Yeah. Great, great. You might be, I'm, I'm not shouting this time. I'm, I'm, I believe I, I, I'm doing small teaching. I glory to God. Hallelujah. Mary, the virgin, would have missed Christmas. Why? Come with me in the book of Luke. Luke. Luke chapter 21, verse 26 to 28. Let's read it together if you are here. Let's read it together. Yeah. In the six months, the intergabrit was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin a spouse to a man whose name was chosen of the house of David whose a heart and the angel came in unto her and said hey thou art highly favored the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and when she was troubled and casting her mind. What kind of greeting is this one? Uh huh. And the angel said unto Stay not. You have found faith for these days. Glory. And Glory. behold, you shall conceive Father, in the womb and bring forth a son. And that, remember in the book of Genesis, in chapter 3, God made a promise. The serpent, because of what you have done, you use a woman, eh? her offspring will bruise your head. 
And that was what happened in the book of Luke. Promise fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is somebody still here? Yes, sir. Is somebody still here? Yes, sir. Go ahead. I shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and mighty. Glory. He shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. He shall reign over the house of Jacob, his government. Go, go ahead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Then said Mary unto him, How can this thing come to pass? I did not have any left I did have no faith anymore. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall overwhelm you. Ah, no, no, no. And the power of the highest. And that is why this is the season of power. To anything that has not been possible in your life. La, 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 li, li, la, la, la. Jesus came with power. I have never seen a man that was born in the condition of Jesus Christ. He came with power. That means every impossibility in your life, this season will be impossible. I said it will become possible. I said it will become possible. I said it will become possible. The power of the most high shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also. Uh huh. Uh huh. Shall be, called this, shall be called the Son of God. You know, other religions were saying that Jesus of God cannot have a son. Uh, this has been a, a question of man to the public price. And uh, as a baby Christian, when you have a, a Muslim, you come across a Muslim, they will throw you a question, you will stagger. And from today, don't stagger. I know the secret. Amen. Amen. The Son of God simply means God is in you and you are in God. John chapter 1 verse 12. To as many, what did the Bible say? Sorry, this is the Bible. What did the Bible say? John chapter 1 verse 2, 12. To as many that receive him, to them. Have given the power to become what? the souls of God. Now, once you are born again, automatically you are a product of God. Once you are born again and you believe, you are a son of God. And that is why the Kodemo asks, Am I going to enter the home of my mother again? The second time, he said, No, not be like that, brother. This time, to anyone you have to be part Amen. Amen. So the water there symbolizes the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Amen. 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 So you are the sons of God. 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 And to every sons of God, really, prosperity is a part of our business. If you look at the way we read answer, he said, Well, according to your word, let me be according to your word. Now, God has been speaking a word to your life from the beginning of this year to this December. I don't know, are you limiting God? In Proverbs chapter, is it uh, uh, 27, verse 7? As a man thinks, so shall he be. What you conceive in your heart, that is what you will receive. The way you see God big, that is how He's going to come in your life big. When you limit God, ha, <laughs> He will downgrade you. Glory uh -huh. to God. Hallelujah. You limit Him, you have a problem with Him. Uh -huh. God is looking for a man that will trust Him for His work. Now, remember, the Word of God is holy. The Word holy never shed. He said, My covenant will I not break. I swear unto David, I, I will not lie, I mean unto David, he said, I swear by my holiness. So the word of God is equal to God. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is somebody still here? 
So God has been telling you great and mighty things concerning your life. You're going to be great. You are going to be this. You are going to be that. You are going to be this. You are going to be that. Have you ever said to yourself that God, I know this world you are saying, they are reality, they are truth. Let me be according to your plan. Let me. Mary would have missed Christmas if she had doubted to go. No. She would have lost it all because she was big and not of the women. See, God can as well be another person. But it's not because we, the Bible said men did not pray for it. The Bible said men did not fast for it. And they were doing fast for it. No, they did fast. They fast. She fasted. No. She, she fast. No. She did not fast. Glory to God. She never fast. Then she, she did not write any application. She did not write any application. She was a faithful. Faithful. As you celebrate this season, may the favor of God will touch you. Amen. Before this year we end. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Merry Christmas. Glory to God. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Amen. Favor will be done. But there is one thing that Mary did. Because the same question Mary asked, I told Pastor, said, Why is it that the Pastor never knew that this is what I was studying? The Pastor was just talking in the kitchen and said, Pastor, God, I know you are a scholar in the Bible. Why is it that Mary asked the same question? How will this be? And Zachariah asked the same question. Zachariah was promised. <laughs> but Mary finds him. What is the difference? Mary owns was he asked in the righteous way. He asked in the belief way. Zachariah doubted. And you are getting old. When you knock at God, God will knock at you. You don't challenge your daughter. And that was why Gabriel said, Are you aware I am the one sitting? Standing at the right side hand of Jesus Christ of God, you are asking me a question, may you be deaf and dumb. But when he said, I don't know. You are saying before 2023, I will come to your head. This is why I have to say to you today, how can God come from my head? Amen. Doubting God at this season can lead you to this Christmas. How to God can lead you to miss the Christmas. Because Christ is Christmas. The same thing applicable to Joseph. Joseph almost ran away. How can a woman that did not have anything with him. He's conceiving a child. And in the revelation in the dream, the angel came to him. He said, If you go, I will move like you. You guys are And I am not going anywhere. In fact, let me come and pay the bright price of Mary now. Glory! 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 Joseph almost missed Christmas. If he had run away, I wonder how his life would have come to right now. If Mary would have doubted Christmas, I wonder how the life of Mary would have come to right now. Because what is about Bible? Bible only makes reference to those that make impact. Yes. Elijah, Elisha was not the first follower. There was the first follower. The Bible did not write in the right his name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody is breaking for us. Glory to God. 
I said you are breaking for. Amen. I said you are breaking for. Amen. I said you are breaking for. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Number two. What can I do in order for me to this Christmas? This is a period and the season where we give a great much space for Christ to enter. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. For Christ to enter. Why did I say this? Why did I say this? Glory to God. Come with me in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 2. Let's take it from verse 6. If you are there, please read. And so it was. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It brought forth a friend. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It lived in the better because. Sit down, sit down. I did not rush when I was putting this message. I said, Holy Spirit, I want to be my child and I want to really know what I am doing. See, if you don't know what you are doing, you can miss it. I don't blame those people that buy clubs, that buy, they don't come to club, church, they have to travel first. Why? You can be celebrating something and you don't know what you are celebrating. You can be doing something and you don't know what you are doing. Amen. When you are knowledgeable of what you are doing, you don't need any person to tell you, to correct you. Why? The baby was wrapped in a swaddling swat cloth. And he was placed on the manger. Don't worry, I will still tell you the mystery behind that manger. I decided, I don't know I sat. Amen, I will tell you. Then, why the manger? They said, there was no room in Bethlehem. Because the, the scripture has to be fulfilled. Because the prophet Isaiah said, this baby is coming out from the root of David. Amen. So, Joseph and Mary have to travel down to Bethlehem for them to deliver. I said, why don't Galilee here? They have to travel for, their, for the future to fulfill. Amen. Now, irrespective of the condition of Mary, God did not say he's carrying the Messiah. Mary still need to pass through the due process because the word of God has never changed. Glory, glory to God. Glory to God. Never God will have just carried me because you are carrying the Messiah. No, you don't need to suffer. Say to somebody, don't take God. Don't tell him the word. His word is equal to me. Yes. That's why you don't need to be with God's word. Don't say to the priest, I'm a dear of the minister. Hold it like never before. Hold it. The word of God is the God you are seeing. No place in Bethlehem. And they have to move and look for alternative. I believe in that lodging place, there are people that are guiding that place. There are officers. Those officers, little do they know that that baby that they are about to come, deliver is their desire. But they said, no space. That was how. They also missed their Christmas. Glory to God. The question here this morning, are you creating space for our Lord Jesus Christ into your life? 
is a question. Or do you still want to say, do the way those people did? That told Mary, no space. Go and deliver anywhere. There is no space here. So the people you see outside running up and down, they refuse to create space for Jesus to come. And you are celebrating the birthday. Does it work that way? No. You don't give me room to enter my hall that I am doing my party. And you are celebrating me. <laughs> and I want to enter bounce their bounce neighbor and they said they are celebrating pastor you know, <laughs> and we close up the party. Yeah, exactly. Don't use my name. Exactly. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Jesus was saying, I don't think I know you. Right. What you are doing, you are on your own. Party is party. See, you can celebrate, but I don't think you are celebrating me. Is someone is here. They never give room. To Jesus Christ to be given back. Listen, Adam, 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 I don't think this place, there is no space. Everywhere is filled up. Go and look. If they have knew that the person that is coming is their Savior, I believe they must have, they would have, they would drive everybody away for Mary to enter. But thank God for scripture. Amen. I said, thank God for the scripture. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lastly, this is the period for we to go to the nature. This is the period for we to go to nature. What did you see in the nature? You see cactus. You see goat ground. Pastor, you see that when they are hungry, they go to the manger and eat. Yeah. So, the, 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 the manger that they put Christ on symbolizes something. It's not by accident. Mm. So, it's telling you that Christ is the bread of life. Hallelujah. That whenever you are hungry, you go back to Christ and see yourself spiritually. Mm. John chapter 6. So, is somebody still clapping for revelation? Hallelujah. Ah. Chapter 6 verse 35. I'm running up this way. Yeah. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never go hunger. He that believeth on me shall never taste. After the deceit of the tongue of the devil, Man had been in the wilderness tasting and hungry. For what? For God's word. Christ came as a spiritual food. So, in this Christmas, when you see Christ as a Messiah that will provide for you each time you are tasting, each time you go hunger, as you are thinking it, you are saying it. The man that there stands where we go and feed our spiritual food. If goat and ram, sheep can go to nature and eat, so they bless Christ to you. So that each time we go hunger, we are tasting in the world, we can use the gospel to eat. Christ is the gospel. Christ is the bread of life. You can see how powerful the bread of Jesus Christ is. it wonderful? Permit me to end this way. I want to talk about the three wise men now. What happened to the shepherd? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Some of you that they have to preach from. Genesis to Malachi to you to Revelation before you come to church. Amen. If you are looking for your desire, you don't need to be forced. Irrespective of the way your pastor talked to you, the way your assistant pastor talked to you, and some of you, they don't visit me, you are still a baby Christian. Amen. The Bible said, 
The three wise men were not comfortable of the job because they have no friends. Why? They saw the star and their angel appeared to them. A savior had been born. God here. That journey was not a day journey. But it took them time. But yet, they went to go and meet their savior. This is the period for we to return back to our savior. This is the period for we to want our savior, not our savior wanting us. It's we that we go. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
that has made us to be the sons of God. Father, we thank you for your love. We did not disappear. Hey! We did not deserve it. When I remember how God did himself, I said, God, I will continue to love you more. Satan, you think I will kill my people? No, instead of me to kill my people, I will kill myself. You deserve all that you Yahweh, Yahweh, you deserve Yahweh, Yahweh. We deserve your money. We deserve your time. We deserve your energy. We deserve your talent. We deserve it. We deserve it. The life you have today is not caused by you. Somebody gave himself. We deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve your beauty. When I'm saying, let's go and walk for God with all our body by engaging in evangelism, so say, I don't have time. If Christ has not died, will you say you don't have time? I don't have time. I cannot tell God. You are a city son if Christ has not come. This Satan will use you to enjoy to as a firewood. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, we love you, Father. Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you. Jesus, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hey! Hey! 
Give your hands to him. Everybody say, Talk me to him. I prophesy upon your life. As you go home to celebrate now, now your celebration will go merry. Your Christmas will go merry. You are eating, you are drinking now. It's sanctified by God. It's sanctified by Jesus Christ. So that doesn't have to eat. I'm telling you, I prophesy. Before you get home, you will mix up your soul. In the name of Jesus. You will not pray in this video. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May your life be covered with the blood of Jesus. Cross over night, don't miss it. No service for now. We judge, we go for the test. Take cross over night. We are meeting, take cross over night. But I'll be the office. We want to see me in my home. But having a sex, you know we have been preaching since who have meditated. Please remember I tell you the major stand as a spiritual prayer. You can only have a spiritual prayer through the word of God. So don't let the holiday overwhelm you. Carry your Bible and meditate. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the morning. You are blessed in the evening. You are blessed in the new day. It takes love for Christ to come. This is a season of love. Please display it. Amen. Look at your neighbor. If he's smiling or happy, give that person or her something to make her happy. As you do, you are fulfilling Christmas. I say you are fulfilling Christmas. You are blessed. Bring out your seed. Bring out your seed of Christmas. The seed of Christmas is not just a seed of Christmas. Lift it up. Begin to communicate to the seed. Bless the seed. Pray for those offering. Let it be used as an open door, a point of contact in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please come. Please, our dressing code, dressing button is white and black. White and black. Come with mountain. Okay? Come with a mountain. Okay? Come with a mountain. You don't have to come right here. Cross over night is going to be fine. Amen. The tradition and prophecy is all about the tradition and prophecy. Come very early so that we can have some teaching. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and prosperous. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let it do it the way. I love your shit. Do it for me. Start to give us your share of grace. And try to want to go with you.